Last night I went to a, a Bucks party for my brother-in-law and at this party I saw my other brother-in-law and he said, you know what, Sam, I finally pulled the trigger. I bought a Tesla Model Y Performance. It's coming from Germany. For the first time ever, the Model Y Performance is being made in Germany for Australians. But this video is not about Australians. I just wanted to share with you that I'm excited because I'm going to test drive his Model Y Performance uh, we're hoping to take it, our cars, the Zika X, 7X, all-wheel drive versus the Tesla Model Y Performance, take it to a racetrack, see what they're like, give you guys some, some insights onto that. But in the US, you guys now can buy the Model Y Performance. Price is extremely reasonable, 57500 I think it is the best value for money performance car on sale in the United States ever, period. For $57,000, <clears throat> bang for your buck. It's not just a performance car, but it's a family vehicle as, as well. And range has increased, power has increased. This thing is just unbelievably good value. And so guys, if you've ordered one, I mean, whole, I can totally understand why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to our newsletter. If you have, our newsletter, if you haven't already, you will not see most of our videos. It's unless you look up the channel every day and actually click on uh, the Electric Viking YouTube channel. You're just not going to see them. They're not going to pop up in your feed. So newsletter subscription, link in the description, do that. Tesla's officially launched the Model Y Performance in the US starting at $57,500 before incentives. Not that there's a whole lot of incentives available anymore, but $57,000. This is interesting because the price is, I think, really good value. And... In, I mean, guys, if you look at the Australian market, Teslas are now cheaper in Australia than what they are in in the US. If you do the exchange comparison, they're cheaper, but not the Model Y Performance. Uh, the Model Y Performance is 90000 Australian dollars. So very similar price to what it is in the United States. Although the US version is a little different. You guys get different batteries, yeah? You get Panasonic batteries. People say you know, the US version has a little more power. We're not 100% sure on that because, well, no one has one yet. But I think it's likely to get a little bit more power, but probably 50 horsepower more because those Panasonic batteries can discharge more power than the LG Chem batteries in the non-US version. I think Tesla should get rid of those LG Chem batteries. I don't think there should be any difference between the German version or the US version, or if there's eventually a Chinese version, they should all be the same. I don't understand it. Anyhow, estimated range is 308 miles. That's 496 kilometers. Interestingly though, the German version, uh, or I should say the Giga Berlin factory version, that has 580 kilometers of WLTP range. So an extra 84 kilometers. But the EPA cycle is much more realistic. It's In fact, the EPA cycle is really good because it's definitely real world. In other words, you probably get 500 kilometers of real world range or 308 miles of real world range from your Tesla Model Y performance, which is pretty good considering it's got 21 inch wheels. Personally, I think Tesla should offer smaller wheels as an option. Get 20 inch rims, which would be more practical anyway, and the tires would be cheaper, and then you'll get more range. Probably get around 5% more range. Should be an option. Anyhow, performance. Uh, zero to 60 miles an hour, 3.3 seconds. So actually, technically, Tesla is saying it has the same performance as the German-made version, but we'll see if that's true. In terms of design, little changes, obviously, Clearly, there's going to be some changes because this is the first ever, the first ever Juniper version of the performance. There is 21 inch arachnid wheels, which do look good. They fill out the guards perfectly. They're just sized correctly for the guards. But I mean, like I said, I prefer smaller rooms. Performance version includes improved suspension with adaptive damping, so proper magnetic adaptive damping, which will be a definite improvement to previous generations. The performance also has higher density battery cells. So the batteries, um, they actually have, well, the battery pack has a higher energy density. We don't know exactly what that is, unfortunately, but yeah, clearly it does. Um, Tesla have gone to um, and explained why that is. And it's the reason why you're still getting this kind of range from a performance model with this much power, two motors, and with huge wheels on it. It's still getting a lot of range for that kind of, um, that kind of vehicle. On the inside, the biggest change is the seats, which are actually very similar, if not the same to the seats on the Model Y L that's made in China at the moment. 
Only in China now, I think the Model Y L though, the stretched version of the Model Y, the six seat version, I think that's gonna to come to the US as well. But anyway, the seats are the same and there's better side cushions, you know, basically better lateral support, which you really do need. So in terms of performance, it's 0.2 seconds faster to 60 miles an hour, which is 96 kilometers an hour. So 0.2 seconds faster than the previous generation. Top speed, it's the same, exactly the same. Weight, interestingly, it's lighter than the previous version. It's 4,466 pounds. To give you some context here, the sedan is 4,054 pounds. So it's 410 pounds heavier than the Model 3 sedan. Seems like actually, a, it's like less than 200 kilogram difference between the sedan and the Model Y. I think that's a really impressively small difference. There are six colors, by the way, and I should point out there's no payment to get to pay extra for colors. You can choose whatever color you want and you don't have to pay an extra fee. Normally, you've got to pay one to two thousand dollars to get anything other than the stealth gray color. Interior as well. Normally, if you want a white interior, it's an extra thousand dollars. But now it's not. You can choose white if you want. I wouldn't personally because I've got boys. But yeah, there is one option for the car. Well, there's a couple of options. One of them is a tow package. Usually that's usually that's a thousand dollars. But actually, you know, I've just checked and you don't have to pay the thousand. That's um, standard now. If you want the tow package, you can get it without paying any extra money. So in some ways, I mean, Electric come out and said it's like $10,000 more expensive for the new version of the Model Y. Completely false, completely fake news. It's not at all. I mean, obviously, you've got to consider the fact you don't have to pay extra for the paint colors. The tow package is standard. Um, you have it, you have magnetic dampers now, suspension. And the price is very $57,000. I think it's a really reasonable price. Plus, there's also an exterior body kit, which I think improves it. And there is a carbon spoiler at the rear that Tesla say increases downforce and reduces drag. Plus, there is a bigger screen on the inside. It's a 16 inch screen that comes from the Model Y L. It's, a big, it's not much bigger, but the, the, the other screen sizes are 15.4 inches. So it's only 0.6 of an inch bigger, but it's a different screen, has a much higher uh, resolution ratio. And I believe it's brighter as well. So if it's really, really sunny, the sun's coming through into your car, you should be able to see the screen better. There's one downside to the Model Y performance, and that is its charging speed. It's actually the slowest charging of all the Model Ys. You can add 144 miles of range from a 250 kilowatt supercharger in 15 minutes. The long range, you can add 182 miles of range. So 40 miles less range in a 15 minute charge than the Model Y long range. Not sure why that is. Maybe to protect the battery or something? Yeah, not really sure. Now, if you're wondering about those seats, guys, by the way, they're not just bolstered better. They also have ventilation and they even have heating as well, which I think is pretty good standards, standard features. So you can buy the Model Y right now, the performance right now on the US, but you can only buy it with cash. You can't currently get the leasing or finance options right now in the United States. That's not going to be long. It might be like a couple of weeks before you can lease it or finance it because you can lease them in Australia right now. But yeah, Model Y Performance, unbelievably good car for the money. I think, like I said, best value family performance car, I think, period. Except, you know, if you're looking at China, where there's a lot of good options in China. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.